meteorologist Brian Schofield, who I was just updating where all the candy stashes are in the newsroom. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, I'm, I'm just waiting like a cat, waiting for everyone to get sick of it, and then I'm going to go. Now they brought, thank you. Did Daniel bring some in? Okay, good. Everyone's been bringing some extra stuff in. Taking advantage of that. <laughs> All right, that's enough. Uh, look at those clouds. Oh, they, they, I think they look good. Making the valleys, certainly uh, changing it up a little bit, making things a little more interesting for you folks at home. Of course, we're not calling for any showers for tonight, but nevertheless, we're seeing some cloud cover move in as anticipated, along with the wind moving in as anticipated, along with the temperatures dropping as we gave you the first alert for. So we're doing our job for you. I want you to do it every day, even, even lethargic with all that candy inside. But let me give you some more headlines because the timing of our next system through that uh, really has the potential to lead us. We have a couple systems actually, but it'll lead us to some rainfall or possible rainfall. Let's say timing is going to be a little different. That's always so important. So we're looking at Friday, still breezy. Uh, we'll still have some sunshine, maybe a little mix of sun and clouds, but either way, nice temperatures near normal. So dropping into the 70s puts us near normal for the weekend. That's when you notice the bigger changes. Uh, we're staying breezy. Winds start to pick up later Sunday, even stronger. They'll be strong enough Saturday to get you to notice them, but the uh, temperatures are not going to drop dramatically. It's next week that we start to see things drop dramatically. Monday looked like our rainy, but some of that might lead into more Tuesday. So maybe less on Sunday, more on Monday and Tuesday. That's our uh, time frame now. So we'll be watching that. And here's why Jetstream really, anytime a system takes its time, slows down, or even speeds up, it makes a big difference in when everything arrives. So we may just keep wind and some cloud covering for Sunday. And then Monday and Tuesday now might be some of the better chances to get some showers across the valley. And we didn't expect an all-day washout. We just expected us to have the potential throughout the day. And then thereafter, if we're lucky enough, we might even get another cool down coming. But in the next seven days, it just shows 60s for afternoon highs. So we're clear now, relatively cool. 70s for tomorrow. That puts is much closer to normal, but the wind you will notice once again, just like you notice the wind today, tomorrow, Green Valley, 73, 71 Centennial Hills. We love you folks there and we appreciate uh, all the emails we get and everything like that and all those pictures we get. And even if there's not weather per se, like rain, we still love your pictures and would love to show them online. So KTNV.com, don't forget about that or our Facebook page and definitely seeing the numbers come down. Uh, not quite dramatically, but we told you we'd get some 60s. We'll be right there once again with big wind and a better chances for some showers come in for a maybe Monday and Tuesday. All right, back to you. Thanks, Brian.